Welcome to Mathematics with M's Grade 12 Financial Mathematics. And now we're going to look at present value annuities. Don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Again, here is the content for Grade 12 Financial Maths annuities. So you must know present value and future value annuities. In a present value annuity, a sum of money is normally borrowed from a financial institution and paid back with interest by means of regular equal payments at equal intervals of time. Each regular payment may include a portion of the interest and we say that the loan is amortized, paid together with interest. We are normally interested in the present value of these payments. First payment made at the end of the first period and the last payment made at the end of the last period. That is ordinary annuities. Each future regular payment can be moved forward to get its equivalent value now, known as its present value. Using the compound interest formula, a future value is given by A equals to P into 1 plus I to power N, where A is future value and P is the present value. Right, so if we make P the subject, then we get P equals to A over 1 plus I to the power N. Right, so remember now where it's coming from. So therefore, P, P1 is to X into 1 plus I to the power minus 1. Then P2 is to the power minus 2, P3 is to the power minus 3, P4 to the power minus 4, P5 to the power minus 5. So the present value P of all these future regular payments is given by P equals to P1 plus P2 up to P5. So therefore it is X into 1 plus I to the power 4, etc, etc, until you get X. Or we can uh, write them with P equals to x into x plus 1 to the power negative 1, then to the power negative 2, then to the power negative 3, negative 4, and negative 5. So generally, these are the n amount of payments. So the formula for present value will look like this. x into 1 minus 1 plus n to the power negative n over i, where x is payment per period, n is number of payments, and i is the interest. So let's look at an example. A loan is required for the purchase of equipment. The borrower can afford to pay 2000 per month starting one month after granting of the loan. The payments will be continued for two years. The interest rate is 24% per annum compounded monthly. How much can we borrow? So you see, it's clear it's a present value problem. So you write on a formula for present value, X is 2000. Remember, it is 24 payments, right? Don't forget, two years is 24 payments because it's 24 months. Then I remember now, again, it is the 24 divided by 100 divided by 12, which is 0, 0,02. Then you do your substitutions, use the calculator, and the answer should be 37,827 rand and 85 cents. How much can we, how much can we borrow if a person agrees to repay a loan by means of quarterly payments of 7,000, starting in three months from now. The payment continue for three years and interest is 60% per annum compounded quarterly. So again, it is present value, X is 7,000. Now remember, N is four times three, which is 12 payments, so don't forget now. And of course, 16 divided by 100, is equal to 0 0.16 divided by 4. Because remember, they said it is done quarterly. So you get 0 0.04. Then into the formula and use your calculator. And the answer should be 65,695 and 52 cents. Ahmed Suleiman with Mathematics with Amps. Don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Remember, subscription is free.